Next we have Magmar. Uh, Maga. Uh, he's Booble. He's got boobs on his head. Boober! No way, oh, really? No! 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 no <laughs> that is got one. You made that up. <laughs> no, he knew it. It's, it's Boober. It's time to hack the movies with Tony and Newt and Justin. Hey, rookie, give me that drink I ordered. Thank you. Thank you. What? Why does a video store have a rookie? Uh, do I ask you about your personal life? All the time, yes. Mandarin orange? What the? I didn't ask for this. Go. Go over there and think about what you did. Is she a pass or a fail? A fail. <laughs> Just like when I said, hey, rookie, order me the Judge Dread from the 90s, and she got me Dread from 2012. So she got you the better one, and you're mad about that. Yeah, but I wanted to talk about the bad one, but she did get me the, <laughs> the better, better one. Movie, yeah. And uh, speaking about training rookies, Dread 2012, exactly. or Dread 3D as it's known. The sentence is death. Mm -hmm. How you doing, Justin? Justin Silverman's <laughs> here. Hello, everybody. It's me. <laughs> Justin, uh, we'll, we'll get right back to you, Justin. First off. Newt, you had a very funny tweet. Yeah, I, very, very I put funny out this tweet. tweet that was apparently very similar to a tweet that R Justin had. Rookie, can, can you right see uh, this on the camera, the, the Nightmare on Elm Street thing? Can you, you can, is that, does that read? I want everyone to see. Don't zoom in. I just want to make sure it's on there. Uh, I just want everyone to see that uh, we were missing part four of Nightmare on Elm Street. Oh and, and Newt thought it'd be hilarious <laughs> to get Bill Goldberg and put him in the middle. And that was very, and the tweet. It's doing very 10, well. Ten thousand likes. I've oh. never, I've never had a tweet get over a thousand likes. I've never had. Well, actually, I, I did get into a fight with Camille Nanjiani years ago, but I ought to delete my tweets. Uh, but yeah, no, that's very, very impressive. Is it an impressive, Justin? But I made the same tweet with Rambo several months ago, and it did okay. Oh, did it do as well as Newt's? No. Oh. <laughs> For example, that's like let's say you're saving a joke, like you're gonna read the X Men. Yeah, uh, Star Trek crossover in, in your Star Trek 6 video, uh -huh. but then you get awful food poisoning from eating canned mushrooms, so you don't make it in time, so another YouTube channel that's better than this one <laughs> makes it, so, so you can never talk about it again, even though you've read it three times because you're a psychopath, <laughs> and it's not that bad. They're right about that. There's like five YouTube channels that aren't better than this channel. Oh, we, we have new competition soon. Yeah. Quentin Tarantino went on Joe Rogan's show saying he's starting a podcast where he reviews movies at a video store. And how dare Quentin Tarantino steal my idea that I came up with? Am I right? But I came up with rental reviews. But this is talking about tapes and it's completely oh. original. Could okay. All right. That This is it. I've had enough. <laughs> First, the fucking... Nightmare on Elm Street tweet, <laughs> then my Star Trek book, now reviewing things in a store. I think it was a what cool idea that me and you came up with, dude. <laughs> now we're going to talk about Pokemon. <laughs> no, God, no, God. This is what you get. Okay. Also, a sound recording. Yeah, you sound know. is recording. Uh, yeah. What, what did you trying? just do? My, oh, my glasses. Oh, glasses. Okay. All right. All right. <sighs> so when we filmed... Pokemon, you, yeah. We, we did it without you. Mm -hmm. Yes, you did. It was the... Um, the best episode. Yeah, we did Pokemon the first movie, and it did okay. It did not do that well. Not as bad as some Hacked Movies episodes. Mm -hmm. Well. But because of it not it doing It did better super... than Fast 8. By the way, I hate all of you. We were really <laughs> excited to review all the Fast and Furious in reverse order. Not enough of you watch Fast 8. Yeah. <laughs> And because it didn't do so well, I was told we can't do Detective Pikachu. We couldn't do Pokemon 2000. It, it, Pokemon is non gratis. Yeah. Oh so, in that episode, yeah. me and Newt, I showed him pictures of Pokemon, and he had to guess their names. Okay. Well, I have a new uh, game I want to play, but mm -hmm. because we're not doing another Pokemon episode, we have to do I'm going to do it in dread. <laughs> okay. And, and because you've been ripping me off, you guys. <laughs> I want to point out, Justin. That this is fine, what you're doing, a little bit of preamble before the review, but you are the person that heavily criticized us and said we had to get into the review faster. So anyway, anyway, do your Pokemon so. game in the Judge Dredd review. Well, so, uh, so I'm going to show you a Pokemon. Okay. This okay. is the English name. Okay. And you have to guess what the Japanese trademark name is. Okay. You'll start seeing a pattern emerge. Okay. Okay. Right, ready? Uh, so this is 
remember, I, I have the biggest Gengar collection. Yes, and you this do. is Ghastly. Uh, uh, Gastel son. Ghostamon. Ghost. It's Ghost. Oh. Ghost. Okay. All right. Okay. So now we have Haunter. The second one. Let me guess. Uh, Hunt? Hunt two. That's clever. Haunt two. Yeah. It is Ghost with a T. <laughs> oh, so it's Ghost? <laughs> Ghost, okay. So the and next it, one will be Ghosty? Well, it's Gengar. Oh. oh he right. doesn't have a stupid name like that? Next we have... You mean a Japanese name? <laughs> I mean, you know what I mean. Racist. Next, next we have Moltres. Molt. Yeah, Molt. Let's say Molt. Uh, that would be... Fire. Fire is the name. You should have guessed fire. All right. Well, next. I guess... The yeah, Japanese that, word for... What, that, it's fire? It's just fire? No, sometimes they're called different things here than there. Mm, yeah. Uh, lo like localization stuff. So next we have another fire. Pokemon. I need to get another one right so I can put it on the fridge. We have Flareon. Uh, uh, something with a B because it's showing through the paper. Uh, <laughs> don't look at that. Don't look at that. Uh, <laughs> I, don't know. I can't go quick enough. There it is. Booster. Booster. Oh, Booster Gold. That's right. He's no, from the future. Nobody likes you, Booster. <laughs> little jingle oh, Turbo all the, Man. Little jingle all the way, for instance. Next we have Magmar. Uh, Maga. Uh, he's Booble. He's got boobs on his head. Boober. No way, oh, really? No, 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 no. <laughs> that he's is got one. You made that up. <laughs> no, he knew it. It's it's Boober. Oh, I thought I was being a fucking jerk. Magmar off. is Boober. <laughs> Listen, I'm asking. I want that. I'm keeping that. I'm asking our Japanese. He got, he got one right last time. He got Lickitung yeah. right, and it's it's literally still on the fridge in the kitchen. <laughs> we'll take a picture of the fridge. Okay. Next we have Krabby. He's uh, 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 lobster. Lobster. Yeah. Uh Snippy. I can't. I can't get that. Over would the be Uber. crab. Damn it! Oh. That one felt too easy. Sometimes they feel too easy. Mister Crab. <laughs> All right. Next we have Snippy. Just uh, a second. drill. B drill. He's uh Remember the last one was crab. Mm -hmm, so he's just B. He's he's uh he's he's B drill. It's like Benadryl? Spear. Ah oh, I was I thought spear. maybe that was like a fake one, like Okay, that makes spear. sense. Uh next we have here we go. <laughs> it's a sand shrew. Armadillo. Yeah. I hope you guys can read the things. If not, we'll I'll figure it out later. <laughs> it is just sand. Oh, okay. just sand. That just makes sense. sand. Not even sandy. Sand. Just Sandra. Yeah. Just sand. Sandra. Sandra Bullock. <laughs> we, we, we only have two more. Okay, right. good. Here we got Mandy Buzz. It's a vulture. Just so it's just vulture. Uh, Michael Keaton, the vulture. No, uh, Judd Hirsch, because he said vulture a lot, and I know in Independence Day. Oh. That would be. What if it was Judd? Hirsch? What if it was Judd Hirsch? I that would be Volgina. Its Volgina. name is not Volgina. Yes, it is. Jesus Christ. Because it comes from Vulture and Regina, which is Regal, because they're female only. Or Longinus. You ever see Caligula? <laughs> yes, yeah. I've seen Caligula. <laughs> and lastly. Intern, have you ever seen Caligula? Intern, don't watch Caligula. <laughs> <laughs> Caligula's great. I'm sorry, rookie. Rookie, yeah, rookie. whatever. Whatever. Whatever the joke Intern, is for this rookie. video. Yeah. Speaking of jokes. Uh, all right, so now we have Umbreon, one of the Eevee evolutions. Okay, uh, he's Circle Cat. He's Circle Cat. I hope that's right. No. No, it's not. That's its name, yes. Do they... It's Blacky, because he's black. Do they, like... <sighs> you know, they're probably big fans of uh, HP Lovecraft over there. So you got <laughs> Volgina, Blacky, and I hope you guys like the game. Uh, Newt wins. Got Newt Boober wins. He got Boober a little bit. I'm going to get this tattooed on my forehead. Anyway, Justin, again, so that's 10 minutes in. You've done the thing. <laughs> People are going to love that. You've, you've done the thing you've criticized us for multiple times. Anyway. You want to uh, talk about Dread? Yeah. Talking about Judge Dread. I have my Judge Dread. Dread versus Death comic yeah. here. What do I you brought, got over uh, there? Uh, I brought uh, Judge Dread, the XXX Files. Because you're a pervert. Well, no, because I always talk about Law and Order Special Victims Unit. That's true. And That's this true. whole comic is just an, a, a collection of ones about sex crimes. Yeah. Um, this one's good. It's got art by uh, Alan Grant. 
Yeah. From Jurassic, from Jurassic Park. Park. <laughs> uh, Brian Bolin and John Wagner. Yeah, Simon Bisley is in this one. Who I'm yes, a big fan Simon of Bisley, who did all the art for Space, yeah. Edgar Wright's old mm-hmm. TV show, and Simon Pegg's name in that show was Tim Bisley. Yeah. Uh, because, you know, these these books have a lot of great art in them. Mm-hmm. And I think we can all agree the art in the Judge Dredd books no, is I, great. No, because the art is, like, super punk rock, which yeah. is great. It's really cool. It what comes you... from 2000 AD. Yeah, the, the 2000 AD I, comics. I am not big on 2000 AD. No. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I think I'd mentioned I mentioned like before. Judge Dredd. Mm-hmm. I'm just not into the comics that much. Yes, uh, Justin is a bandwagon fan. Well, much like Mad Max, he only likes no. this okay. movie. Going okay. back okay. to going back to the underbelly days, we started doing a show called Spoiler Alert. Yes. And Dread came out and I'm like, oh, let's go see Dread. I'm so excited to see Dread. And Justin was like, that looks stupid. I don't want to see that. So we went to go see it I... and we got the wrong time. So I had to see it a second time in 3D. And I asked you a second time to go see it with me and you didn't want to go. And then after that, Justin was like, this movie's great. I love it. And yes. everyone should talk about I, how great it is. I saw it four times in theaters. Because <laughs> yes. you're a bandwagon You fan. used to have no. the big fucking thing in your living room. Yeah. Me and Newt rescued the um, light up. Uh, movie display from uh, our friend Rabbit. Yeah, at, like a uh, movie stop. Yeah, movie stop in, in Jersey. South Jersey. And uh, while trying to get into my basement, because my roommates at the time didn't want me to have it in the living room, I, it fell and it got destroyed. Oh, it, very sad. Justin sent me a picture of it. It just said rip. And I, even I was like, oh man, that yeah. would have been awesome. Okay, I, no, but yeah. I do want to talk about unlike the, the 90s or the 2000s, the 2010s were all about bring it on bandwagon fans. Mm-hmm. From Mad Max mm-hmm. to this. Well, that was and, 2015. Uh, the, the, Mar- the Marvel films. That whole decade was about getting people into dead franchises. Mm-hmm. Star Trek? <sighs> yeah. 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 Two thousand yeah. From two thousand nine, yeah. And and that was that they fucked that up. Star Wars. They kept trying to bring back old franchises. Yeah, so, I guess so. Don't blame me. Blame the system. <laughs> I will okay. blame the, the system, system that needs judges. I will judge you though. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, real quick, Brian Bolin, uh, that's Killing Joke, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He worked that's a lot with Alan Moore. Alan Moore got his start over the- in England with 2000. Pretty much every British comic book writer got their start over there yes. on 2000 AD. And um, yeah, this movie. It was uh, sort of England's answer to heavy metal. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and this movie is uh, great. Yeah. I remember being really excited for it. The advertisements were not bad. the best. Yeah. They, That's why I wasn't into it. I went in. I went into the theater, knowing the '95 one existed, mm-hmm. and yeah. back then, and back in when they came out in 2012, which we have the graphic novel uh, of oh, the '95 yeah. one right yeah. there. You know, and I don't, I don't hate this one. The '95 one's fun. It's, w- yeah, yeah, it's fun. Yeah. But while it's we were fun. while we were watching this, I said, "Well, yeah, of course he takes his fucking helmet off. It's Sylvester Stallone." Yeah, Nobody but that's like Sylvester so Stallone. not the character. I know. Though. The only thing that really got on my nerves was Rob Schneider. Oh god, yeah, that's that was the, that was he the got worst part. But way that, more screen time than demolition. Yeah, man. this looks more like the comics than this does. The '95 one. Yeah, it looks yeah. more like their their costumes. Yeah, the problem is they try to do all the comics. Yeah, they they had the you, Angel Gang, the Cursed Earth, yeah, the ABC you Warrior. You can't do all of it, which I Rico, like. Rico, and then it's like, yeah, this one is 2000 AD by way of District Nine. Yes. Well, yeah, which I, mean, I thought was a cool idea. It's easy to reboot something and make it gritty mm-hmm. when the source material is gritty. Yeah, yeah, it's Whereas, not annoying mm-hmm. when, when it other stuff does. Yeah, it. Well, yeah, compared to like. Um, you know, Batman Begins, where they made something that wasn't kind of gritty and made it gritty. Well, yeah, Batman goes back and forth. Well, Batman back goes and back forth. and forth. Because, yeah. you know, the early comics, he's just beating up bad guys. And then comics were forced to be more kiddies. So mm-hmm. then he went. Yeah, but the 95 one went full comic book on oh, it. Oh, yeah. yeah. But, like, kid comic book. But yes. I wore my Dark Knight Returns t-shirt because this Batman That's is. beefy Batman. Beefy Batman. But going go, like, oh, this is the coolest thing ever until I discovered Judge Dredd. And I was like. Oh, Frank Miller just straight up <laughs> ripped off Judge Dredd, like you know. And as I was informing the rookie before this, mm-hmm. because they don't know Judge Dredd that well, like, yeah. it's, it's shocking. <laughs> uh, Robocop started off as kind of a Judge Dredd. Oh, one hundred percent. And uh, even I think, the way his helmet, yes, was shaped. Yeah, the picture of like the 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 first like mold they did for Robocop. Mm-hmm. It's just the Judge Dredd helmet, and yes. I was like, someone had to have stepped in and be like, "No, you can't, you can't do this." <laughs> It's like, hey, I'm making this here, this uh, this grim uh, vigilante. Here's mm-hmm. his bat mask, and they're yeah. like, no, you gotta. But all they no. have to have is this kind of like this crazy world, and Judge Dredd is like, 
a parody of fascism. Yes. Set against this world that's so insane that you're like, they, they make you side with the fascist, yeah. you know? <laughs> Which I know you well, would never do. Well, because you're very anti-fascist. Well, you talk about it all the time. Well, yeah, I mean, J Tony wasn't here the one time and I wanted to give him my resume, so I threw a brick through the window <laughs> and it was taped to it. So I don't think that's a problem. <laughs> you got the you job. Yeah. Now that you think when you're bringing up Robocop, you're bringing up the fascism kind mm -hmm. of stuff from Starship Troopers, a Paul Verhoeven tread movie would have been oh, awesome. Oh my God. That yeah. would have been cool. Mm -hmm. That would have been cool. I wish he did the first one in the 90s. I forget who directed that. Uh, let's see. Uh, what else do we want to say before we get into the movie? You uh, want to do your whole front-loaded uh, behind-the-scenes notes? Yeah, uh, Judge Dro. Dro I love that this is the new gag. Mm -hmm. I keep telling him when when you have a fun fact, sync it up with a part in the movie. No. But then he just front loads the yeah. notes, so and I, I just like let him do it. Looks like he printed a Wikipedia. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, I am. You're known for that. I am DB. Oh, yeah. well, well, I am DB. You don't own any of that stuff. That text isn't yours. <laughs> shut this. Shut this show down. <laughs> <laughs> um, so Joe, Judge Joe Dredd is a fictional uh, British science fiction character from 2000 AD. Uh, and um, yeah, we, we did all this stuff. Yeah, already. we did all yeah. this. Why? Are you... He's created by John Wagner. That's the only thing we didn't say. Okay, yes. Yeah, so uh, who was uh, who worked on this movie, helped develop this yeah, movie. Yeah, he and the director met at a restaurant called well, Peach Trees. Him and the writer. The writer. Not the credited. This is one of those movies where like um, Peter Travers directed mm -hmm. it that's the credited director but carl urban came out and said a few years back alex that garland. alex garland yeah. actually directed because i got the movie? when we did the original review of this when the movie came out i said that it was alex garland and i remember the comments were like fuck you you don't know what you're talking about then later it came on so it's one of those things where eventually i'm proven right yeah. you know so it's like a poltergeist situation where was it toby hooper or was it steven yeah. spielberg but yeah. Uh, yeah, John Wagner and the writer met at a restaurant called Peach Trees, and that's why he named it that. That's Which clever. is something they did in the comics, I think. They would just name different blocks, yeah. just random shit. Uh, there are five stars in on the American flag in the movie. I had six. I thought it was six. That no, represent the five mega cities in America. In America, America. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because in this world, it's a post-apocalypse. Mm -hmm. There's nuclear war. There's mutants. There's a cursed Earth. Mm -hmm. You can't go outside. Yeah. It's sad. Which Inside, sadder. It yeah. depends on the writer, but Mega City One is like almost the entire East Coast, from mm -hmm. like New York almost down to That's Florida. That's like Metropolis, where you don't know. Yeah, but no, no, no. It's not like you don't know where it is. It is that. It's oh. that big. They it, have like, them on the moon. It's <laughs> definitely New York is definitely like in it mm -hmm. uh, because I think the first comic it was called like New New York or yeah. something, or, and then they changed it to Mega City One. But it's depending on the author, it's like most of the East Coast. Then there's one on the West Coast, Texas, probably Ooh. Chicago. And I don't know if this counts the America West. one, but there's Luna One, which is the Lunar Mega City. Well, we City. were there first, so technically it's ours. <laughs> right? Because I think the thing is there was already moon colonies before the war broke out. Yeah. And, and then they just stayed there. I know there's like allusions to like the uh the Soviet mega cities. So there's yeah. a lot of mega cities. Uh yeah, so the graffiti throughout the movie has other characters names like Chopper, Kenny Who, the Fatties, which also appear in the beginning. Yeah, of Fatty the movie. appears. <laughs> and uh Minty, who's another uh who's another judge. Oh yeah, the Judge Minty storyline's really good. Yeah, and they made someone, a short film. Someone did a short film and they like oh, nailed judge it. Minty. Yeah, mm -hmm. the Judge Minty storyline. The, what what about Judge Mint Salad? <laughs> so she should draw oh that. God. Did you see she drew me and Nikki from that Doom yes. video that you can color in? Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> that's actually pretty funny. Judgment Sal. So they're like at the uh, our co our our fans are still judging Mid Salad for her yeah. performance mm -hmm. on Pass Power or Fail. Rangers. So at the Tucson Comic Con, because I go out there every year to speak at the convention, they have the Tucson judges, and they're people who go around the convention dressed as the judges. <laughs> so they told me I could wear the costume, <laughs> which was awesome, and I'll. Put up a picture here of me in the mask or the helmet, but it was 120 degrees. Yeah. Plus, I'm wearing like pleather, and I had to like lay down in the in the the uh, the fucking um, the green room. And Michael Winslow just stepped over me to go get a cup of coffee. <laughs> did he make a sound effect? No, it would have been great if he did. Um, yeah. So we have that. Uh, the slow mo effects used uh, the sound that it makes was actually a Justin Bieber song that was slowed down 800 well, times. I don't think it, it wasn't in the final copy, but okay. the, the people who were doing the music slowed down a Justin Bieber yeah. song. And they, liked, it, yeah. they liked the sound of it. They slowed it down by or, a thousand or percent. someone and else then, did, and then they copied it. Yeah, and then they like copied it and made it sound similar. But I love that they were just like, let's slow down this Bieber song. And they're like, that's okay. the soundtrack well, of the sound, movie. Like, the whole soundtrack of this film, like, well, I mean, that's like the slow-mo sound. Yeah. Mm. But the actual soundtrack is me like the 
No, oh, yeah. Is awesome. It's like it's the, Carpenter-esque. It, it's like the music in Cyberpunk 2077. Mm -hmm. Same composer. Oh. And he does like a... Um, he did How Battle, is that Battle game? Did that, that game get any better? The game... I've never been so hurt. <laughs> um, that game is a problem, but the music is pretty good. So. Okay. This one, yeah, this one had like a... It felt like its core was Escape from New York. Like yeah. that kind of it's John very, Carpenter. It's very video synth, game yeah. like, in, in, including just the structure of the plot. Very mm -hmm. next level, next yeah. level, very yeah. next quest item. And as we were getting ready to record, uh, Kieran came in and was like, Hey, what are you watching? And I was like, Oh, we're going to watch Dread. And he told me I have to tell them that um, in Fallout 4, Jet is inspired by this movie. The slow mo drug is inspired oh, by this movie. Oh, okay. Fallout, is that the game with the robots? They were really mad at you. I took a picture with, what is it in Fallout? A uh, NCR Ranger. Whatever. I took a picture with that. Real nice guy, though. Follows me on Instagram. Mm -hmm. um, I took a picture with him, and I was like, look at this robot. And then a bunch of nerds were like, that's not a robot. <laughs> and then I did it again. <laughs> I'm like, here's another picture I took with the robot. Yeah. Uh, people accuse this movie of being a ripoff of The Raid. <laughs> People like Justin who accuses everyone of ripping them off, apparently. <laughs> no. Oh, yes. yeah, well, they ripped off, yeah. yeah. So the Raid Redemption, that was the mm -hmm. first one, right? Yeah. Uh, Which is awesome. It's an awesome, Both yeah, it's a good movie. It's good movie. great. Uh, but this movie was being made first yeah. and took longer to come out because of the visual effects and the 3D transfer, mm -hmm. which we're going to talk about later yeah. on. Um, yeah, and there were so many friends of mine, they're like... <laughs> This, this American movie totally ripped off the raid. The raid's so much better. I'm like, Except it was made by an all-British team in South Africa, but whatever. Yeah, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Based on a British comic book. Yeah, well, even <laughs> the, the, the raid, isn't it like a white guy, I think, directed yeah. the raid? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he was yeah, going to make so, a Deathstroke movie. Is he? He was going to, oh. with Joe Mangoliangolo. <laughs> One day you'll get that name That's right. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is why you get stepped over in green rooms. Um, yeah, so... Where is I going with that? The the raid. The, the raid, raid that, that people is accuse it of being a ripoff. Oh. There we go. He's a fail. But the raid is like this isn't like an original idea. Like Die Hard was a cop in a building. Yeah, I said the same thing. Uh, Sixteen. Well, even Escape from New York. It's like, hey, you're the one good guy. You're in a area with a bunch of bad guys. Sixteen blocks. The uh, Bruce Willis and Most Def movie no. where he's got to get the perp across it's, the block. Sixteen it, it, blocks. It's only because both movies came out around the same time. Yeah, and they're both very cult like because mm -hmm. a lot of people didn't watch them. So everyone. Was fighting each other. Well, enough people watch the first raid for it to get a sequel. I saw yeah, the but not one in the but not compared to other movies like blockbusters that come out. Yeah, yeah, that's true. It didn't that's have true. a super wide release here. But yeah, let's let's get into let's the movie. Dread the sense we feel when we're around Tony. <laughs> it's spelled different, jerk. I anyway, clearly don't know how to spell as you've seen my notes. It doesn't <laughs> yeah. matter. So the opening is modeled uh, after Cobra. Do we have Cobra? We do have Cobra. We should have gotten pizza and we could have cut it with scissors <laughs> like in that movie. That's a, that's a thing. He yeah. Does. yeah. And the bad guy's the dude from the X-Files who's like the alien bounty hunter. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, Shao Kahn, Mortal Kombat mm -hmm. Annihilation. But yeah, he has like an opening monologue about Mega City 1. Yeah. Mega blocks. Mega highways. Mega City 1. Uh, we get to see the city. I love that it's just South Africa. But mm -hmm. they add it like digital buildings yeah. and blend it. They blend it really, really well. Sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes. It's because we watched this the 4K. Low budget movie. Yeah, this movie has a dreadful 4K. We did not watch the 4K one. Oh, we didn't? We just watched No, our TV Blue had fucking the motion blur. Oh, the, the motion okay. interpolation turned oh, that right. off. Okay. That's technically yeah. the 3D Blu ray, the, but we don't have a 3D. This movie was shot on a lot of different film stocks mm -hmm. um, and a lot of things with the 3D and a lot of things with the. Um, uh, you know, some scenes are full CG. Some scenes are a really nice high film grain. Mm -hmm. It's too dark or whatever. Yeah. And on the 4K scanning, it's very noticeable. Yeah. It kind of takes you out of the movie. But the yeah. Blu-ray is fine. The 1080. Usually the director is supposed to sit there for the transfer. Is this a, is this a situation where like the director didn't want to do it because he's it's, not the real director? It's, yeah. it's the opposite of James Cameron. Which <laughs> yeah. James Cameron won't even watch the true lies of Convert. Why won't, has it been released since then? He has to make 10 more Avatar movies. Yeah, those will happen. We're going to film this one under the ocean, and we're going to film this one in space. <laughs> Aren't they making a Tom Cruise movie in space now? I don't know. Probably. Um, but yeah, uh, we open up on like a uh, drug, but or like just a chase. Yeah. Uh, a bunch of guys are doing drugs and stuff mm -hmm. in the car, uh, and Dredd is chasing them. Yeah. And they accidentally kill a guy, which just gives Dredd just full reign to murder But everyone. I like that he, do he just calls it. He doesn't care about the human 
that's been just splattered by a car because he wants to catch the perp. Yeah. But if you look at the at the readout, um, they were calling the closest judge, and Judge Hershey's name was on there. And Judge Hershey is yeah. from the comics, but also is from she Sup- was a Diane Superman's Lane, mom. In Diane the first Lane's movie. character yeah. from uh, well, the original one. Remember the whole point for people who don't know Dread, the uh, the rookie. rookie. I want you for to example. read all of these comics. Yeah. In this post-apocalyptic mega city where they can only go to 6% of crimes that are reported. Yes. Um, the cops, called judges, have to be judge, jury, and executioner. Right. Because they got to make on-the-case decisions because mm-hmm. they cannot handle the crime in the city. Yes. So people go to ISO cubes, which is like prison, but worse. You're just in like a little it's just cell. A, it's just a tiny cell, yeah. and that's it. So and you're, you're just you're, there by yourself. So you're better off probably dying. Exactly. Yeah. And then they take your body, and they recycle it into food and different things, like Soylent Green. Eat yeah. recycled food. It's great for the environment and okay, okay for, for you, you. <laughs> from the first movie. Yeah. yeah. Again, the 95 version or 96 has good stuff in it. Yeah. The yeah. ABC robot, as we talked about, that is one fucking is pretty awesome. Cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So the, the chase scene is pretty awesome. Mm-hmm. He chases the guy into one of the blocks and that's where we see the fatties. Yeah. Which are fat guys that need wheels to wheel around. Yeah. <laughs> well, well they, they, they chase him inside of a food court. Yeah. Like at a mall. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That would make sense. He was there. Uh, I also like the uh, crowd control. Oh, wow, that was not very body positive. <laughs> <laughs> I love the, uh, the the crowd control. It's just the bike being like, get away, stop, don't go anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but then we get to see the law giver. Mm-hmm. Right, that's the name of the gun. The, gun, the yep. lawmaster yeah. is the bike. The bike. Yep. And uh, if you don't know Judge Dredd, he can like talk to his gun and select different ammo. I don't know how he fits all that goddamn ammo in one little gun. It's kind of hilarious. It's like Batman's utility well, belt. <laughs> I feel like they reload sometimes, but they don't show it that often. Mm. Yeah, but it's just like, okay, how? Do, so does every single bullet, how do the bullets move in the chamber? Like, it's weird. But I like when he says, uh, what? What are, you, what are you, a gunsmith? Yeah. I'm not a gunsmith. I'm not a gunsman. Uh, but I like when he calls the guy hotshot. Mm-hmm. Because it's an incendiary. It just melts the guy's head. The in. top of his head pops yeah, this, and then caves in. This movie has a ton, a lot of good practical effects mm-hmm. and a lot of digital effects, but they, they're really decent enough. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or they don't take away from it or they're so over the top where you're just like, that's fine. That's yeah. fine. Great. It's fine. Because the 3D in this movie shouldn't have worked as well as it did because they did a really good job yeah. of adding. Oh, Newt, did you say 3D? I did say 3D. One, one, one second. Is is that on? Okay, one 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 second. So guys, uh, I'm so glad you mentioned 3D. Uh, where's the app? I'm glad you mentioned 3D, Justin. Did I? Or oh. Newt, whoever mentioned whoever the 3D. Mentioned 3D before the 20 minutes it took him to figure out how that works. Look, it's a very complicated technology. Are For we- the people watching on Patreon, this next segment will be in. VR 183 D. Ooh, it's gonna look real annoying to you people at home. But if you're on the Patreon, well, every camera with Tony in it looks really annoying. You to shut up. <laughs> but if you were watching this on the 3D thing, it'll feel like you're right in the store, and it it feels like you're just watching us do the show, which I hear is very entertaining. Am I right, rookie? Is that is it very entertaining to watch us? She's like. Yeah, I could have worked anywhere, but I can't. <laughs> <laughs> so Jesse, go on about the 3D. Well, this movie was shot 3D. Uh, it, it wasn't shot in 3D. Yes. They did post. Uh, yeah. I forgot if Stereo D did it. or Like, I had a lot of friends after college, because I got a degree mm-hmm. in 3D animation, mm-hmm. that went off and just did, like, stereo conversion for movies. And that was yeah. huge with, like, a lot of the Harry Potter movies. Um, clearly, Avatar was all shot in 3D. But the ones that weren't, they would literally ro- rotoscope every scene of the movie yeah. and put it on different planes yes. for 3D glasses. And there were some good examples and bad examples. Uh, Saw did an okay when they did their 3D one. Was it that was all post? right. It was post. Are you sure? Yeah. Because hmm. they especially they did certain shit scenes. Oh, yeah, yeah. But yeah. now, 3D movies, 3D TV sales, like, I don't think you can get a 3D TV anymore. Do like, you remember like, when that yeah. was the thing? Oh, they, yeah. Well, My dad like, had a 3D TV. Yeah. And it was awful. And it wasn't that bad, but glasses. yeah. Actually, the, the, the PSVR, if you put a 3D Blu-ray mm. in, it'll play it in 3D. One of the worst ever was uh, Clash of the Titans. That was I, bad. You couldn't tell what the fuck that was That was going notoriously on. bad. So that's also why I was afraid about the 3D yeah. thing. Because it was getting annoying at this. 2012, it was getting annoying. Priest 3D. Priest 3D was terrible. Yeah. Also, Carl Urban. Yeah. In a futuristic city with a big desert. Mm-hmm. That's a weird coincidence. Yeah. Um... The, the one night, me and my friends, we saw three movies in 3D. 
well, one of them was just 20 minutes. We had 20 minutes to kill between each movie. Yeah. We saw we saw Fright Night, Ugh. the remake. But when you put the 3D glasses on, it makes everything darker. And the movie was all in the dark. So we couldn't oh. really tell what was happening. And then then we saw 20 minutes of the Glee movie, the Glee concert movie. Because we had time to kill. How many people from that movie are still alive? Not a lot. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> and then we went to see Conan the Barbarian remake, which oh, is a God. terrible movie. The opposite of this, where yeah. the remake is better. Uh, and the whole third act, I couldn't see when they're in the cave. Mm -hmm. The best movie we watched that night was the Glee concert movie because it was brightly lit and colorful <laughs> and it actually looked the best so in 3D. What happened because of those lenses are a little bit darker because mm -hmm. of the, the, you know, the, the, the mesh in them or whatever mm -hmm. to make yeah. it breaks it up so it looks like it's 3D in your eyes. Yeah. Um, the projection is supposed to make that brighter. Yeah. Um, because pretty much uh, a 3D movie can run in any theater that has a digital projector mm -hmm. that has the two things set yep. up. Um, and back then, they were still moving. It wasn't like a 3D lens at that point. You move this fucking like wheel giant in front yeah. of it. Yeah. Because back, because after I got, after NFL Films like pretty much fired everyone, yeah. I went over and was working at AMC as a mm -hmm. projectionist. And that's when 3D was starting to get really big mm -hmm. around when like Scott Pilgrim came yeah. out and stuff like that, even though that, I don't think that was. In that 3D. wasn't, that, that might have helped no. itself. But that was but, around uh, the time of like uh, Michael Jackson's This Is It was yeah, in exactly. 3D. That's when yeah. it came out. Yeah. And yep. they were, it was a way to like inflate profits because yeah. you could charge but it, but if more it was, for it but if it was yeah but and then like regal did that 4x theater where it's like yeah. well, that was, and, I, i'm gonna go on a whole rant about that one day yeah. that was but, a nightmare um yeah you're supposed to make the the screen brighter or the, mm. the bulb brighter to that way you're, you can it, it looks better but most people didn't but there was a, the, it, at that point i remember the very first 3d movie i ever projected was the christmas carol the one that was all oh the, yeah yeah the jim carrey one and we didn't have, I worked for Bowtie Cinemas. I was in Norwalk, Connecticut as a general manager. And like, I was just learning how to do it. And our staff up there is like, yeah, we program the movie and we walk away because there were still 35 millimeter projectors as well. Mm. And they're more worried about that. So I was like, oh, you're supposed to adjust the thing. And they're like, why? It's the same thing. <laughs> and I'm up there doing that. And then I'm just realized it didn't matter because people yeah. didn't really quite understand how 3D worked anyway yeah. so it just you know but yeah the post conversion ones were really bad for a bit yeah. this was good yeah uh, no, this was so really good and the then actually the first avengers was a post conversion one and that one looked that, that one, one looked okay in so 3D. the situation is they all look bad yeah yeah they all look bad mm -hmm. that's why at like disney world and stuff the new rides like rise of the resistance or the new mm -hmm. mickey the new mickey railway one mm -hmm. it's all screens but they're placed in a proper way so it gives you depth yeah when you go through it you don't have to wear glasses like on a uh, flight of passage and rides like that. Like mm -hmm. they kind of yeah. figured out, oh, we'll just put screens in environment rather than have, e like you're just watching the screen go around because everyone yeah. starts stuffing out. And then, you know, for someone like me who has awful vision, I have to wear two pairs of glasses. Yeah. You you have dread glasses, don't you? I do, here. These are actually dread 3D glasses. Look, you see that? Ooh. <laughs> that's, that's impressive. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that. yes, that was our 3D conversation and you watched it at home in 3D VR. It was like that's you were right. here. That's right. You special people. You're not gonna do anything cool. I hate like him so fucking much. Like it's not even. It, it... Whoa! <laughs> oh my god! It was. It looked like it came right at them. They must have all jumped. <laughs> like our rookie jump because you threw something. Yeah. At her. I was gonna throw the X Men Planet X comic bo uh, book, but I didn't want to <laughs> hurt the book. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And that was it. The, this was on Patreon. Don't, don't, don't touch it yet. Don't late. touch it she yet. She already did it. She already did it. Did you already touch it? No, no, no. Oh, don't okay. touch it yet. And that was on Patreon. So sign up for Patreon to see that stupid segment in 3D VR. It was totally worth it. Uh, so now that you're done, you're done Patreon shit. Yeah. Yes. Can we, we talk we about talk the fucking about movie? The yes. Dread killed a guy. Dread killed a guy. And now he meets his rookie partner. The Chief Justice uh, teams him up with a mutant. Mm -hmm. who has psychic abilities. Yes. And also, we forgot to mention earlier, Carl Urban had his helmet off and you never saw his face. Yes. And he's committed and to it, the bit. And it never comes off again. And it never nope. comes off again. Uh, but yeah, we meet Judge Anderson, who's very popular from the comics. Played by Juno's friend from the yes, movie Juno. Yes, Olivia Trilby? Trilby? Thurby? Yeah. Thur Trilby? Did, did, I don't know. Triple? Did she have the hot the hamburger phone? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hamburger phone. The girl with the hamburger phone. Yeah. Uh, she's psychic. <laughs> I'm here with my girlfriend's. You're gay? What? <laughs> <laughs> I like that movie. <laughs> that movie's okay. It, it got a little annoying. The yeah. fans of it got a really annoying. 
Uh, but yeah, I like how she tries to read uh, Dredd's mind, mm -hmm. and that's the only hint that you get that he's a clone. Yeah. Oh, spoilers. Oh. Well, they well, didn't mention the it in the movie. Too, it's know. in the comics. The, 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 the freaking the Stallone one yeah. was the whole plot yeah. of that. But yeah, Judge Dredd is a clone. He's made up of... I forget if I'm mixing the movie and the comics. I forget the specifics, but mm -hmm. he's made up of the DNA of multiple judges, yes, the right? Best. Mm -hmm. It's like Serpentor in G.I. Joe. Sure. He's made and up of Rico, is Rico is brother in the comics no. also? No. Uh, mm, I don't remember Rico in the comics. Well, I know he had a robot face. Yeah. It's been a while since I read some of them. It's been a while. It's been a while. Since, uh, we have just mentioned that in another episode yeah. recently. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so he takes her on patrol. Mm -hmm. uh, it's her assessment, and she's she's she doesn't look like she's ready. Apparently, no. <laughs> yeah. Well, because he says to her, he's like, "Are you ready?" And she's yeah, and he's like, "You don't look ready." because yeah. that repeats later. Uh, but they get a call to Peach Trees because mm -hmm. apparently Mama, who is the villain in the movie, played by Lena Headey, Lena Headey, who everyone knows from the '90s Jungle Book movie. I was gonna say <laughs> the shame, shame. Is that her? I don't watch Game Is of that Thrones. Her? That's her, right? I don't watch. Yeah, because she's all naked in that. Is she? I don't yeah. watch. I don't watch Game of Thrones. Okay, I've only seen a couple of them. She was in Three Hundred. She wasn't she was Three Hundred. She was Sarah Connor in the Sarah uh, yeah, Connor. Yeah, that was a good show. Oh yeah. yeah. The first season was that bad. I never got around to the mm -hmm. second season. Um, but she yeah. was in that wrestling movie. Oh yes, yes. Fighting, so fighting with, with my, my family. family. I really yeah. like that movie. Yep. Uh, but yeah, they get a call to Peace Trees because Mama, like, she had to discipline. A rival gang or one of her own gang? Uh, one of it was her they, dealers. Yeah, yes. they, yeah, they, were, they did something wrong. Yeah, so she has them skinned and thrown over the balcony of a two hundred story building. But she hits them with the slow. -mo. She hits them with the slow mo, so they feel it the whole way down. And the guy from Remember the Titans and the Wire suggests yeah. it. It's oh, like, it's, yeah, the guy from the Wire, Anton Barksdale. Yeah, and I like mm -hmm. how he's just, she's just like, yeah, sure, whatever. Someone should have been like, hey man, can you like the slow -mo, relax? Slow mo is a cool drug. Mm -hmm. And like. I mean, all drugs are cool. <laughs> I mean, I Am my I right? biggest problem with this right rookie, blaze it and praise it. That, don't you better be very careful answering that. I drug test everyone in the store <laughs> randomly. I, I know random it's with all my empty Gatorade bottles, so it's not official. <laughs> <laughs> Pee in the Gatorade bottle. <laughs> I, I drug test customers that come in. I, I give them a cup and I go go. <laughs> anyway, ew. Yeah, that's how you that's how you drug test. Yeah, but the slow mo effect's very cool. <laughs> Sparkly. Mm -hmm. Yes, but I'm not sure why it's actually illegal. Like, is it killing people or is this just the government wants to stop people from having a good time? Which I totally. Well, believe. I think they want to tax it. Mm. Oh, yeah, it's about making money for the judges. They need new, you know. Yeah, pads. It's yeah. For the, yeah. It's for the the policeman's ball. So I don't really trust uh, Judge Dredd now. I okay. think he's the bad guy in the movie. <laughs> he sees he sees American citizens just wanting to pursue happiness, which is in the Constitution or whatever. But what? what and he's what, like, what, not what, on my watch. What still exists from the Constitution after nuclear war, though? I don't know. Fucking Natalie yeah, what's, Portman's what's, what's, the president now. Oh, yeah, that's right. Mars attacks. Uh. I would love this is like <laughs> continuing from the Mars attacks universe. Well, Tony, your dad was a cop. Yeah, I like thinking like he, he'd be like a judge. That mustache. He, was, he was a narcotics officer. Well, I, know, I, know he, I know he came over on the gravy boat or whatever. Yeah, but you son of a bitch. You get a gravy boat because, you know, gravy's like sauce and, you know, like on the Sopranos. Like, Give me some gravy. He has never called it gravy. Really? In his life. Because yeah. pasta sauce is gravy, right? Yeah, that's, that's what, what they call it. Yeah, yeah but that's I think that's. Call well, because remember when they go to Italy on the Sopranos, they're like, Give me some gravy. And they're like, Look at these fucking. Because they're, they're like, We thought the Russians were bad. These guys are fucking <laughs> awful. <laughs> How would the DNA, how, you know how they have the, the thing for the gun, like it's your DNA match? Does Tony's dad, if he's a judge, have to go like that and then it unlocks? <laughs> where are we at this movie? They're, they're going to peach trees. Yes. Okay. They, they do the cool thing where there's like a POV shot of the, the car. Oh, yeah. And then it pulls away and they fucking get thrown <laughs> off the building and they just hit the ground and yeah. just they just splat. It's meat. pretty brutal. Like, <laughs> and, and everyone's watching because like peach trees is like an actual giant, like it's a city size building. Yeah. It's a kilometer tall. There's 75,000. Kilometer. Feet. Yeah. Apparently in the future, America has gone metric for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> it, it truly is the end of the world. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we yes. don't use the metric system so in this store. <laughs> 75,000 people in it. There's many gangs. Mm -hmm. They were trying to fight for the buildings, mm -hmm. you know, because there's gang warfare, but Mama yeah. took control. And yeah, Mama took all of them. Making an was, example. Mm -hmm. She was a former prostitute and then killed her pimp, and then I guess just took over. 
like yeah. you do. Like you do. You know, yeah. somebody has a more successful show and you force them out and then you have the show and the yeah. store, you know, it's like that. It's like that. You know? We should scar Tony's face like that <laughs> prostitute. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How you doing, Justin? I'm you, doing fine. The, you enjoying the episode? It's okay. <laughs> I got to do my poke. I did all my bits. I did my Pokemon bit. <laughs> I did my fake 3D glasses bit. Though these are the real 3D glasses yeah, in the from movie. the movie. Yeah. I did my X Men bit. Okay. I'm good. You just leave. So after talking to the medical guy who gives them the whole like background, yeah. they go to uh they go to like the one drug den mm -hmm. to bust people. And the scene's awesome. Yes. Uh oh, she doesn't wear her helmet because it interferes with her telepathy. <laughs> He's like, I think a bullet will yeah. interfere. <laughs> and that's where the music's doing the. Whoa, 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 whoa. Mm -hmm. Yes, the boom, 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 boom. Well, because it's driving the action. Yes. Yeah. and yeah. it doesn't hit. And I mean... love. Uh, so they tone down a lot of stuff for the movie. Yeah, I like the toned down gadgets, mm -hmm. where it's just like, here's a little magnet we're putting on yeah, the door. Yeah, so like, even though it's in the future, all mm -hmm. their gear is very yeah, low that's tech the thing. because it has to be cheap. That's the thing. They they are basically wearing like motorcycle armor, mm -hmm. which is fine. But I really miss the big eagle, and I know the, why they yeah, the eagle is there, there but, but it's, it's not the big giant mm -hmm. gold eagle because that would be horrible in an With actual light where you're well, rolling this, around. Well, this movie is more realistic. Versace did that. I the know. original movie Versace yeah. did all the albums and yep. the, the outfits, and for some reason he gave Judge Dredd a huge codpiece, and it's like that was okay. Tone that down a little <laughs> bit. What were you saying? Nah, it's fine. <laughs> I'm good. You went over the Versace cod piece thing. Yeah. You don't like the? Do you like the Gold Eagle or not? I I, I prefer this version of Dread. Yeah. I, it would have been cool to have the Gold. But their Eagle gear, though. like you were saying, because he's even got like the Pip Boy thing. Yeah. And it's just like, it's yeah. realistic. And then the, even the bomb, it's just so tiny, and then it just blows everyone away. Yeah, it, I it's, love. It's it's like they have like they just go on their Swiss Army knife. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it, yeah, the slow mo scene when they get in there, you. They slow it down, yeah. and you see the people's skin, like, waving, yeah. and the bullets going through, but it's periodically it'll go from that, like, this sound, the Justin Bieber song, to yeah. kicking into the actual music, yeah. Yeah. and then back into it, and it's almost like a kind of shell shock yeah. kind of thing, like in the beginning of Saving Private Ryan, right. almost. Right, like, mm -hmm. Yeah, and I love the, the one guy, just when his skin is just rippling, because people don't realize, like, in movies, they're like, oh, the explosion propelled me. It's like, no, you're... Your insides are shattered. Yeah, exactly. I think the only one that did that was like Hurt Locker did in the beginning when mm -hmm. what's his face is running away and he's far enough from the explosion, but he like spits up blood and yeah. stuff. And uh, it, what, that whole scene starts with like two random dudes who are just going there to buy drugs. Oh, yeah. And it just so happens to be where the judges go. And, well, one of them pulled the gun on him. Yeah, it's true. And he got That's shot true. through the face. <laughs> yeah. And you see like his fucking teeth and gums inside. Well, I, I feel like a lot of people pull their guns on the on the. Uh, judges just so they could die. Like, yeah. well, I don't feel like going the ISO jail. Yeah, apparently the ISO cubes are like horrifying. And what's the other? The juvie cubes? Oh, yeah, they have one for kids. They <laughs> the have juvie, juvie cubes. I want to see that movie. No, it's, it's, They're just smaller ISO it's, cubes. It's, it's the juve cubes. <laughs> the juve That's cubes. That's what he calls yes. them. Um, there's so like I, tread babies and there's like little <laughs> kid gangs. Like, <laughs> So everyone dies yeah. except for the, remember the Titans guy. I say the, the wire. Oh, wait, what was his name? K. K. Good name. Really like that name. What do you think of that name? K? Yeah. Oh. It's okay. It's okay. I'm glad we didn't say it a third time. <laughs> <laughs> they take him hostage because I like how she does the telepathy. And well, she's they'll like, take him hostage. Those well, not a prisoner. Yeah. Prisoner. But I like she's yeah. like, I'm 99% sure he's responsible for all, for all this. And I'm like, well, we can't execute well, him on 99%. This, this, is, this is the thing that kind of sparks off yes. mm -hmm. the whole movie. Because he's a, he's a high-ranking guy yeah. in Mama's Yeah, they're going to take clan. him to interrogation, mm -hmm. and that would ruin Mama's drug operation because that's where it's all coming from. Yeah. So they have like, to lock the building down. Because even in the beginning, uh, Hux from Star Wars. Yeah, the red I, I didn't realize that. Yeah. I forgot. Yes, yes. Are you a big fan of Hux from Star Wars? The redhead. I liked him. I, I think he got shafted in the last one. See, see, this up. is this is before he did a bunch of like romantic comedies and stuff after this, and a Peter bunch Rabbit, of like bigger action. Peter movies. Rabbit one and two are fucking great. Yeah, yeah. No, he's he became like a huge star, and everyone forgets that he's like the random pale, creepy guy yeah. in trade. <laughs> His eyes were ripped out. That was the worst part. That was my favorite part. That was the worst part. Um, yeah, so he's there, and he's like, oh, no, he's looking at the security camera. But I like how at first she's not really concerned. She's like, yeah, well, a drug bust is going to happen. Let mm -hmm. him take him. And they're like, no, they got that guy. They're going to interrogate. She's like, 
well, he's going to talk because apparently yeah. the judges are very good at interrogation. I, Justin said it when we were watching it, like, imagine what that's like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, considering they have like a fleet of psychics. Yeah. And stuff. Yeah. <laughs> well, they don't have a fleet of psychics. They have one. Yeah. They have one psychic because they mention later on that the mutants, we, don't, we never see any other mutants. No. We see graffiti mm -hmm. showing that they're prejudiced against yeah. them. But I like the, the guy has a line later on. He's like, most of you just have like extra arms. Like, what's your deal? Or no arms, yeah. But I like how like the Chief Justice is very concerned because she knows like how valuable the girl is. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, they they have to make sure the judges don't leave. So they shut the entire building down. They they prepare it. They do a war test. Because yeah. obviously there's the threat of destroying the earth more. Like <laughs> yeah, I, it might have been left over from the previous war, but yeah. yeah, I like the whole thing. We're like, yeah, someone might try to like hit us again. We got to put blast shields. Now I feel bad for the regular buildings outside of the blocks. Mm -hmm. Like you would see the shields go down, and you're like, oh shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, no. like, well, I guess I'm not going home. <laughs> well, it's like it's like the Simpsons episode where France launches a nuclear weapon at, at Springfield, and <laughs> comic book guy goes, oh, I've wasted my life because he sees it coming. <laughs> yeah, when they go in the DefCon mode, um, it closes the thing. It crushes the, the vagrant. He yeah, says to him, he's like, when I come back, don't be here. <laughs> and he never leaves. Yeah. I guess he did debase himself. Did yeah. anyone ever pay that guy to debase himself? I don't know. They certainly are paying to debase <laughs> yourself on Patreon. Yeah. Yes, they are. <laughs> um, yeah, and so, yeah, they lock down the building. And now mm. they're stuck in there. Yes. Well, before that's that great scene where Hux has to, like, call in. <laughs> We're calling him yeah. Huck. What is his real name? Do you know? Domiel Gleason. Dom Hill Gleason. Let's keep calling him Hux. Yeah, Hux is better. He's Hux. Um, <laughs> yeah, so he's like, well, yo, we called it in. And he's like, mother fuck uh, control. And he's like, my supervisor's breathing down my neck. And oh, it's yeah. really this bloodthirsty yeah. fucking warlord is he's standing got, over like, him. Knife <laughs> um, Mama yeah. makes a decree. Mm -hmm. Yes. She's like, uh, I want, there's two judges. I want them killed. Don't interfere or I'll kill you and the yeah. next generation of your family. And I love that the medical guy kind of turns on him. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but that one, uh, the first um, like firefight they have, they mm -hmm. use gas grenades. And I like that they put respirators on for themselves. And then they tell the prisoner, they're like, you, you want to hold your breath. I'm yeah. like, that's, that's really me. Because <laughs> like Dredd's like not really concerned. No. Like, like uh, I guess we kind of have to take him in, but I don't really care. But I, again, I like the colors in these scenes. Yeah, like it's bright green. It's a bright green. And then their red that they have is muted in all the scenes but it stands out in these kind of scenes, which I thought was really cool to it. And you know? uh, Justin, you said you like the disorienting digital effects. Yeah, like for example, when like a flashbang goes off or like they do a lot of strobe effects mm -hmm. and all that kind of stuff, it kind of like takes over everything, including mm -hmm. the sound effects. Yeah. yeah. Um, And just a color correction, this movie's great. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it gets grainy here and there, but that's fine. Yeah. I think we already covered it, that. The, yeah, I don't think the budget allowed for cleanup. Yeah, mm -hmm. like I said, it was a small budget. It got inflated because of the 3D yeah. conversion, which they probably shouldn't have done in retrospect. Mm -hmm. But I guess they weren't well, they really... Need to. It came out as Dread 3D. Yeah, yeah. that was the... Uh, that, I'm so glad we're done that era films. Well, th well that's what like it'll come back because it was the, in the 80s and it's going to come back in 20 years. When the movie years. first started and the logo says dread and explodes towards you, I'm like, "Oh my god, this is going to be awful." Yeah. Cuz I went into this movie without seeing any trailers or anything. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to see what it would be like, and I was like, "Well, I was fucking wrong." Yeah. But I gave it the benefit of the doubt. But I, I I was worried there's going to be 3D bullshit throughout. Like kind of like in Mad Max Fury Road where at the end the guitar hits the camera, yeah. Yeah. which is fine, but yeah. they only do it once, but yeah. I thought that was going to be like this whole movie. Because you, you could picture how they do like the fucking bullet time stuff coming at the camera and all that. Yeah. You know? Yeah. They go back to the med center. The guy betrays them, yeah. but they kill all those people. And then what's her face has to kill a guy. She has to execute him. The guy who looks like, what do you say? Steve from Blue's Blues Clues. Blues, yeah. <laughs> it's like everybody's ready for war, but he wore like his, uh, his He's got colored shirt, shirt from fucking it, it, Old Navy. It, it looks like like Drink Grand Theft Auto 5 kind of thing where like everyone's like a gangster, but someone's just like wearing their like yacht <laughs> uniform. Like. It's like when you dress up as your creative character. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yeah, so they, uh, he's like, you know, they shot at us, you have to kill him. So she, yeah. Pops a cap in his crown. Yes. And, and then kills it, him. Right afterwards, they're on the run from everyone. Mm -hmm. And they just go to that guy's wife's house. Well, just yeah, by they're, coincidence. They're standing by the thing and she uses her mental powers to know the name of the person inside. So she could call and she's like, Kathy, Kathy, let us in. And then they 
yeah. bust inside. Right, because the, the med center guy won't let them in because mm. he's scared and being a dick. Mm. So, because he's like, oh, they're going to get you. Like, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Or they're going to come here and mess this up. And, it's you know, self-preservation at this point. Yeah. Uh, you know? So they have to go silently through the building, and it becomes more of a cat and mouse thing at that yeah. point. And that woman tells them that there's a service elevator that says it's out of order, but it works if you go above any yeah. 75 and, and above. And I like that she's not helping. Like She yeah. literally is like, I'm not Just helping. I yeah. need you to get yeah. away from here. And then she... I really like that scene where Anderson realizes who she is, and like you just... You see, like, she's having second thoughts about, mm-hmm. like, the job. Like, oh, shit. Yeah. That was also, like, oh, well, it's not the first guy she killed. It's the first guy she executed, mm-hmm. which is, like, a whole different thing. But it's a connection now because there's a human yeah. connection. They have a because, baby. Because you can't humanize Judge Dredd, which yeah. is what the Stallone movie tried mm-hmm. to do, and they didn't get it. Like, yeah. Judge Dredd, like, maybe a little bit at the end, but, like, no, he is he is basically a robot. But throughout this movie, too, that's why, like, his his facial expressions with just his chin yeah. and the things that he says are so great because he is so disconnected. Yeah. He it's really, just a job. He really reminds me of Snake Plissken. A little bit. Like, Snake yeah. Plissken is not, a, he has he has one emotion and that's anger. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, they're that just, is all Snake Plissken just has. pissed off the entire movie. He's yeah. pissed off and he just gets increasingly pissed <laughs> off on both but that's, that's like kind of like the Doom Slayer. Ma- man too pissed off to die. Oh yeah, the Doom Slayer is great. <laughs> well, in the new game, the Doom Eternal, like the ultimate enemy for the Doom Slayer is just an alternate version of the Doom Slayer. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, well, that's literally the old. And then he kills that guy. Yeah. So, spoiler. Um, for all you people who haven't played Doom Eternal yet, have you played Doom Eternal? I watched Justin play Doom Eternal. Do you want to talk about Doom Eternal for four hours? Could we talk about the movie Doom? It had Carl Urban in it. I love that movie. I do too. Oh, covered. Is, is there an HD DVD over there? There is. Did you guys ever do that one before? Uh, on this channel uh, years ago, I did a, uh, I mentioned it, I did a panel called the Doom uh, Retrospective, and everyone thought we were going to talk about the history of the Doom games, and then I pranked them all, and I only talked about this movie for an hour, and when you skim through the video, you see more and more people leaving <laughs> the, the panel. No, no, it had nothing to do with the movie, it was just your personality. It was probably my personality. <laughs> uh, yeah, this movie is stupid. I love it, but it's stupid. Oh, I think it's great. You it's also fun. love the second one, you idiot. No, I don't love the oh, second annihilation. One. I, don't I thought that if it wasn't called Doom, it would work as like a Roger Corman style eighties. Well, same thing as that yeah. one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you know anything about Doom? All right, the main character in Doom is called Doom Guy. Do you know which one of these characters is the Doom Guy? Rock or Carl Carl Urban? No, the answer is none. There is no real Doom Guy. No. You know who the Doom Guy is in the second movie? None. It's a woman. They really, they really missed the boat on that one. <laughs> By the way, HD DVDs. I love that they gave him little feetsies. So we could... said feetsies and Crystal made fun of us. Yeah. Semper Fi, motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> Doom 2005 is worth the watch. Mm-hmm. It's not yeah. good, but it's worth the watch. Uh, yeah. So then are we getting to the, um, getting to the, the big old gun, the big old mini gun scene. Which you didn't know what a minigun was. I know, I asked you what we were watching. I was like, what's the name of that gun? And then you said minigun. Yeah. And then you explained to Justin and I why it's called a minigun. Because everyone always like, why is it a minigun? Those things are gigantic. And of course, if you've ever seen Predator, or like any movie, it's the big, you know, Gatling gun. Yeah. The reason it's called a minigun is because it's the miniature version that like aircrafts use, like mm. jets and stuff. They have like gigantic like a ones. Vulcan cannon. Yeah, the Vulcan cannon. That's like yeah. a Metal Gear Solid, there's Vulcan Raven. Yes. Uh, but I guess at some point in history, people were like, well, we really like that gun, but it's just too big. Can we make a miniature version that we can carry around? Mm-hmm. And instead of someone going, why? Someone went, yeah, let's try yeah, it. When you call something the the mini gun, you assume it's going to be like the noisy cricket. I was just going to say <laughs> the noisy cricket. Yeah. It's like, I get it. It's, like, it's the miniature version of that giant gun. But yeah, it's a weird name. I love the way Stallone uses it in uh, Rambo 4. Yeah. Because all the dudes are in Burma are still seat belted in and he just opens fire on the back of the thing and it's just like somebody like just blood <laughs> is just going everywhere. Also, those are meant to be mounted in helicopters and like trucks and stuff. Mm-hmm. I love even the director, uh, what's his name? John McTiernan in, yeah. in the Predator commentary track. He's like, there's literally no reason Jesse Ventura should be carrying this gun around in the in the jungle. It's like, this is the worst thing you can carry. Like, no one would ever choose yeah, to carry but, it, but it looks so and cool. And he's a goddamn sexual tyrannosaur, <laughs> so it makes sense. Oh, wait, uh, Jesse Ventura or John McNearden? Je- both. John McNearden, a ta- notable tax evader? Yeah, he's in jail. Oh, uh, no, he got out of jail. Did he? Uh, it wasn't for 
He didn't go to jail for tax evasion. He went for uh, wiretapping and oh, fraud. Oh, yeah. my mistake. He had he was like wiretapping people. I didn't know what securities fraud he got tax, into. Ta is it tax evasion? Evasion. Oh. oh, oh, evasion. No, but did, what, did people call it tax evasion. I no, they don't. Yes, they do. They, they know, literally they don't. do. Yes, they do. I heard someone say that. Speaking Avoisian? of which, um, Men in Black. Right. Remember, we were saying what happened to Linda Fiorentino. Yeah, she apparently was like uh, in deep with some like crime dude and like got involved in his court case and stuff and that might be one of the reasons she disappeared for a while <laughs> back to the movie the minigun the minigun the minigun is awesome this scene is great three miniguns three yeah. miniguns <laughs> you better put when on you your... absolutely positively kind of kill every <laughs> motherfucker <laughs> in the room except, except no, no substitute. substitute you gotta put your uh, 3d glasses on yeah. for that scene <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, they uh, they take out the minigun, the miniguns. Because they trap them in like, they, they can't go back the way they came. Yes. They, it was like, a, you said it was like Star Trek, basically. And well, the yeah, same thing. it's kind of like in, in, in Star Trek when, um, you know, they're on the ship and they're like, oh, put up force fields. We got to contain the threat. Mm -hmm. And they contain them so that the only way he can come out is where the minigun fires. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> And like I said, they rip up the entire floor. And I feel bad for all like the innocent bystanders that are just like, oh no, and they're like, being cut in half. And it's like, Jesus. Right. This this movie reminds me a lot of um Punisher Warzone, where they just embrace that's the violence. That's another that's another sleeper hit. Yeah. It's Punisher Saw Warzone is fun. The Looney Bin Jim kind of holds yeah. that movie back, especially when you know the real life story. Mm -hmm. But yeah. that character kind of sucks. Uh and actually when this came out, the the black and white poster. There was like this trend. Dread did it. Predators. Daredevil and... did it. Same one. Daredevil standing at the end of the. Uh... No, 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 no. Oh. Not the main poster. The black and white poster. The very. Oh. The one that you had in the display. Yeah. They oh, had a yes. Black and white okay. Dread. They did one for Predators and uh, Punisher Warzone. And mm -hmm. I did it for Mummy Cop. Not that one. Uh, so I did one picture where it's like the four of us. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's very nice, cool. Wow. Very cool. You guys are supposed to be a Mummy Cop and you didn't show up. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Not the last time we're mentioning Mummy Cop in mm -hmm. this video. Uh, but yeah, they survive. Yeah. They manage to make it onto the uh, the skate park that's just on the shoot, outside of the building. They just keep firing he, he, through. Yeah, he uses the high X, the high explosive around mm -hmm. him. Right, right, the wall, right. And he falls out into the skate park where a bunch of kids have been hanging out the whole movie. Because <laughs> in, like in, in the, um, the Cursed Earth or this world, the, the days are hot and mm. the nights are super cold. So it's almost like summer in the day, winter at night, mm -hmm. right. all year round. Right. Um, so it's snowing out there. Yeah. Aside from being a kilometer up. Yeah. There's also that. But like, what a what a terrible place to put a skate park. Yeah. Like, it's the worst place I can yeah. think of. <laughs> <laughs> that should be a Tony Hawk level. Yeah. But they're finally able to reach control. Yeah. And they're like, hey, we're like fucked. Yeah. Place to go <laughs> at this point, you know. And they're like, can you stay there? And they're like, no, because no, like literally, if they show up, like. What are we going to do? Use the kids as humans? Like, well, there's nothing we can do. And every line of dialogue out of Dredd's mouth is fantastic. Mm -hmm. It's awesome. And I love, I freaking love this scene where uh, they're, they're looking for him in the rubble. Yeah. <laughs> just sneaks up on them and just launches throws, them off the balcony. Throws her second in command off yeah. the balcony. Yeah. <laughs> and, then just, and then just walks away. And just walks away. <laughs> and she's like, oh. Mama's just standing there like, shit. <laughs> I like how, because when they see that, the camera moves from them across to show the depth of yeah. the situation. By the way, I love, throughout the whole movie, like, Dread and Mama, mm -hmm. they never really lose their cool. Like, like for them, like, this is just, like, business as usual, yeah. and it's just, like, they're m more inconvenienced than usual. And it's, we see Like, that we never see, like, she beats up a couple guys, but mm -hmm. we never see the scene of her, like, screaming and breaking no. stuff. Because the moment that she became Mama, we see the violent... Thing that she did yeah and from that point on it's just it's this is just my life now and why get upset about it it's the job yeah it's an inconvenience we said the same thing this movie has that kind of texas chainsaw yeah. quality to it where you're just you accidentally you're just dropped into a you just world dropped and... into a world accidentally and mm. then just everyone makes a series of decisions so that the movie can happen you yeah know? <laughs> yeah but I, lo I love that like the characters are kind of related mm -hmm. in that way they're like well, yeah. well now i'm dealing with this yeah. not like ah mm -hmm. The interrogation, yes. right? Yeah. You want to explain? Yes. Yeah, so uh, the uh, the guy from the I'm in 3D. <laughs> uh, the the guy from the wire. Um, he's uh, kind of talking to uh, uh, Juno's friend uh, about Anderson. New Anderson. Louis Anderson. Yeah, he's talking. Like, I thought that was weird when Louis Anderson walked in, going, <laughs> "What's going on?" Judge Dredd's plotting now. 
<laughs> Life with Judge Louis Anderson. <laughs> Didn't he have like a childhood that was like awful, but they made a cartoon about his happy childhood? Life of Louie. Yeah, but they like, yeah. apparently he had like a really awful childhood in real life Maybe? and they made this cartoon. He like, plays, um, he plays Zach Galifianakis' mom on that show uh, where Zach Galifianakis is a clown. And he's actually pretty good do you know as the, the mom. Do you know why he's in Coming to America? Oh yeah, why? Because the studio mandated there had to be one white character. And they picked Louis and, Anderson. And, that, and Eddie Murphy was like, "Yeah, we just picked Louis Anderson." I still have not watched a sequel. I, I have it's either. Terrible. Yeah, I heard it's just a million like bad Black Panther jokes. No, yeah. and I'm like, oh. Mm. Um, anyway, yeah. So that he's interrogating and he's talking about uh, mutants and he had never, he didn't think they were real and all that. Mm. And uh, they do the whole thing where it's like, "What am I thinking?" And there's he's having sex with her yeah. and she's like oh you're you're fantasizing this thing and he go and she's like you think you're going to shock me he goes no if i want to shock you i'll think about this and then we don't, and we don't see know what, what it, is. it is but it really gets in her head <laughs> she like, and she <laughs> fucking hits him in the mouth and she's like oh yeah what are you thinking about now <laughs> i think i know what it is oh yeah Um, but yeah, I like he's just peeing his pants at the end. Yeah. Shred is like, oh, okay. Well, that's, yeah, because she gets inside of his head at that point. Oh, and all this is happening in a children's classroom. Yes, exactly. <laughs> she gets inside of his head and she shows how she can fuck with him because he's like, oh, if, it, if I'm in my head, I can do whatever I want. And he's not wearing his, his uh, mm -hmm. handcuffs and he takes her shirt off and then pushes her down. Yeah. But then it turns into Mama who bites his dick <laughs> off. And as he's freaking out and she's fucking with his head, she gets all the information that they need, which is that the drugs are being made there and where she is. And yeah. the dude's brain is so fucked, he pisses he's his just pants. scrambling and she can't goes, handle it. Yeah, so they make the drugs here and she's there. <laughs> she's totally calm after and, and Dredd goes, interesting. Remember, remember <laughs> she's still under assessment. <laughs> yeah. She's so, doing a good job, she's though. She's doing a good job so far, uh, considering the circumstances. Yeah. Uh, but what yeah, I like... Saying? Something. No, okay. You could say something. No, I'm cool. I mean, you're not cool, but you can say something. It's fine. I think Justin's way cooler than you, Tony. I'm not well, gonna lie. Well, well. <laughs> if he was so cool, With these double shades. Mm -hmm. If he was so cool, why didn't his tweet do as well as yours? I get right time, right place. <laughs> well, that's because I retweeted his tweet. <laughs> sure, it's true. He does have a lot um, more followers than me. Which got I like. Who has uh, more followers? You or Tony? Oh, me. Oh, that's what I thought. I, I haven't looked in a while. I don't even know how many I have. Uh, yeah. Uh, no, I really, uh, yeah. I really don't follow my Twitter. The answer is, the answer is less. <laughs> and this is a situation where less is not and if, more. If you're not following me on Twitter, please do so we can beat hack the movies. <laughs> if we and if we are not, beat him more. Um, how many? Yeah, if we got rid of him, think how many more of these we could do. Boober. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Rookie, don't say what it is, but uh, how many followers you have on Twitter? I don't have well, well, we all zero. beat her then. Yes. Uh, <laughs> She's a fail. Yeah. By the way, that's very that's very smart. That's very I wish I could go I wish I could go back in time to 2012 when I was in the theater for Dread going, should I make a Twitter and be like, don't do it? What year did we meet Tony? 2011. <sighs> I wish we could go back to 2010. Why didn't we do it a few years later? I met um, were you at the Maddox book Yeah, signing? I was there that night. The same one. Yep. Oh, I didn't realize I met you there at the same time. Wow. You don't stand out as much as other people. Anyway. You, you might have been behind me. I yeah. might have been. We met at a book signing for a failed comedian who pretends to be a banana now. Yeah, I was there. Uh, let me see here. Oh, I love when the kids try to take on Judge <laughs> Dredd. <laughs> Just freeze. It's like, why? Yeah. Like, it's such not a thing for him. <laughs> uh, but this is a distraction that they use uh, where, remember, the Titans guy kidnaps Anderson. Mm -hmm. uh, and I do like, he's like, you are so fucked now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, and then, uh, finally, Tread gets on the line. Uh, well, he wants to make an announcement, but they, they're not letting him. Mm -hmm. And they're like, all right, we have to let him do this so we can see where he is. Yeah. And this seems cool. And Duminol Gleason. Is that what you say? Duminol uh, Gleason? Hux. 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 Yeah. Hux. He, he lets him do his thing. But yeah, he does the famous line, like, I am the law. No, it's, uh, Mama's not the law. I, I am the law. Mama's not the law. I am the law. 
But I love the way it's shot. It's like through a piece of glass and you just yeah. see it's the complete opposite of the Stallone one where it's like, oh, well, but, well, remember, I am the law. I never broke the law. I am the law. You betray the law. Law. One, we had to see the motorcycle. I we know. We had to see him get off the and motorcycle. I like that he had in the, the we had to see one. the cod piece and then we had to see the microphone The microphone come down. that drops. <laughs> and then no one's listening yeah. to him. Uh, but I do like in this version, like, I, I love, at this point, you should just assume everyone wants to kill him. Mm -hmm. And he's, his mindset, because again, he, we know he's a clone monster. Yeah. He's all like, well, these citizens need to be reminded of the proper authority. <laughs> Everyone's he, just like, go away. What does he say at the end of it? He's like, justice is coming. Oh, he goes, justice time. Yeah, justice <laughs> uh, no, time. No, judgment. <laughs> judgment time. As for you, mama. Judgment time. Judgment time. And I was like, that's so fucking dope. And then he <laughs> and then he murders about 10 guys with white phosphorus. Yes, you're doing the face. Which, as Justin said, is considered what? A war crime. Yeah. <laughs> it's a war crime. Why is it a war crime? Use white phosphorus on civilian populations, like in Spec Ops the Line. Mm -hmm. oh. Because it it keeps burning after the fact. Mm -hmm. oh. And you can yeah. like find it later and, and it, it, it's like a and it just burns all the way to the bone. It's Did we up. use that in like <laughs> was that yeah. a was that we a used, war, was that a World War One thing? Because after World no, War One, it wasn't invented yet. We used oh. like chemical weapon gas in World War One. Okay, I was well, gonna say us, but... I think after World War One, yeah, no, like the movies, they, like the, like the UN or whatever, they were just like, all right, guys, we can't do this chemical weapon stuff. That stuff was really fun, but like because like, they show like the... I love when a bunch of countries get together and like, all right, that we cross the line, yeah. let's reel it back. <laughs> but even like because there's a smoldering ash on the ground that was once dudes, and then even at the end, there's still guys that are there's still, still guys on fire. <laughs> But then but, we all had to look up how to spell phosphorus because uh, no, I was watching a movie. You're like, how do I spell phosphorus? F O F. I said P H. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, <laughs> so they call the cops. Yeah. So they're, this. Uh, since well, yeah, yeah, they're not sure how to beat dread. dread. And, yeah. And they said, "What do we do, Mama?" She's like, "Called nine one one." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, we forgot to mention, like, after they called for backup, there were two judges out there. Hold on, I have a the question. Yeah. So. Somebody called 911 because Shorty's burning fire on the dance floor. Whoa. <laughs> I think that guy got Me Too'd recently, oh, so you he? might not want to quote his song. Oh, really? John <laughs> Kingston? I think he did. Oh, Something no. Something happened to him that was controversial recently. You don't know Do you that? Know anything about Sean Oh, I'm sorry. It's not a Taylor Swift song. You wouldn't know. <laughs> they were getting popular at the same time. Oh, were they? Yes. Okay, I don't know. I'm an old man. You are old. Yeah. <laughs> Used to buy me beer. Apparently. <laughs> oh, I don't know when this air this episode comes out. Oh, all right. Uh, that's a joke from another episode. Anyway, uh, so there's been two cops that are locked out because obviously they're not letting them in. Mm -hmm. And then like the other judges show up, and they're like, "Yeah, let us in." And like the other judges aren't like, "Wow, why did they let them it in?" Just opens right up. They're just like, "Not, we're not going to question this. They can't let it happen." You're relieved. Yeah, I would be like, "Am Get I? Out of here. I, I would have gone like, do they have it?" Does Lex have authority over those guys? But, well, yeah, no, it would be because there are higher ranking judges within mm -hmm. the system. And if the system, if the world you live in is See, hell. I can't tell what the rankings are because the eagle's not gigantic. When I read the comics and I see the giant eagle on Dread, I'm like, well, clearly he's in charge. So mm. they needed a giant eagle. Mm -hmm. Anyway, they're in there now. And they're they're dirty we judges. Just go. Like we, we don't have to be. Yeah, they're there. dirty judges. And also Anderson's been captured. Yeah. And the goal for the bad guys is to leave dread and anderson just shot up yeah so the other judges outside the the, the non-bad judges think that it was like an gangland. accident yeah, yeah like a gangland shooting yeah. and that's it because that, they, they like, don't want everyone what to know. drug operation mm -hmm. yeah a bunch of dr judges did a, a drug bust and died whoops yeah and they want a million credits when they get there or yeah something. and they kill they kill the poor med guy but it's like the scene in spiral as I was saying to you, oh, right. he's like, "Oh, you, I saw all this, and this is what happened." And he goes, "Oh, and you'll, you'll, you know, you'll go on the record for that." And he goes, "Yep." And the other one just pulls a gun and just <laughs> fucking kills him, um, which happened yeah. in spiral. You'll testify to that. You, you got the wrong person here. What by did the I way. say? It's not Lex's Adam Apple. It's the other guy. Oh. Lex is the the last, the dude. main guy. Yeah, so uh, the guy who we clearly knew was a South African actor because all yes. the movies that he was in were Hollywood movies made in South Africa, like Dracula Three Thousand. Yeah, well, you said it, Invictus, and I was like, Invictus, oh. and he was also a he had a small part in uh, Black Sails, which was a really Invictus good show. was the movie with Morgan Freeman and Matt Damon. As uh, yeah, Morgan Freeman was um, Mandela, Mandela. Nelson Mandela. Um, did you ever watch Thirty Rock? 
No. Matt Damon played one of uh, Liz Lemon's uh, boyfriends, yeah. and he's a pilot, and he's really into movies, but he's always quoting movies that Matt Damon's in, but he can never <laughs> remember who the actor is. He's like, I watched Invictus with Morgan Freeman. I don't remember the white guy's name. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but yeah, he fights the one judge because he, he catches him in his lie. Well, yeah, because he says about, he's like, uh, what do you, there's only one judge and it's. Well, yeah, but he's like, hey, we're here. We got everything figured out. And he's like, hey, you haven't asked me about my partner. And then mm -hmm. they fight. And that he says, he's like, Lex, we got a problem. And yeah. then he takes him out. And this is brutal. Well, he shoots him in the feet. He shoots first, him in the feet. And then fucking caves his Adam's apple. Yeah, in. and they like digitally make it go <laughs> inwards. Uh, with, the, with the butt of his gun. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but I like I like when he the other judges come and he just falls. But off. it's like it's shot from above and it's just this insult to injury shot where his body just <laughs> yeah. hits the ground. Crumbles. <laughs> it's uh, the shot from Vertical Limit, the Matt uh, the, the Chris okay. O'Donnell movie, yes. where they just show the dad hit the ground. I still need to watch that whole movie. <laughs> I sound like a Mortal Kombat death. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So then uh, I think he takes out one of the other guys. Mm -hmm. uh, I like how the girl goes. Oh. Uh, Anderson breaks out because yes. the guy didn't know about the lawgiver's uh, failsafe. Mm -hmm. You cannot fire a judge's gun uh, in the, I forget how it works in the comics. In the yeah. 90s movie, it would give you like an electric shock. Mm -hmm. In this one, he goes to execute her with her own gun and it just blows up his entire hand. Yeah, he's like, do you have any last words? She's like, it's funny, I was going to ask you the same thing. <laughs> Which, by the way, now that we know the ammo that's in there, like white phosphorus mm -hmm. and high, like, shouldn't that have been a way bigger explosion with no, just fire everywhere? No, there's probably they a fail safe. They weren't uh, triggered. Yeah. I guess so. But I there's probably know. a fail and, safe. And maybe they don't give the rookie the white phosphorus. Yeah. Oh, they don't have But there also would be them. a fail safe dressed for that particular reason. Like, mm -hmm. I know. guess so, yeah, yeah. Uh, so he's dead. Yeah. She like kicks him in the head and like breaks his head. Mm -hmm. uh, right. Let me see here. Oh, and then he fights Lex and the other guy. Okay, yeah, it was Lex in the was, drug factory. Yeah. The which, drug which factory, which is just like a big kitchen. Yes. Yeah, which makes sense. But yeah, it reminded me again of yeah, the they're scene. cooking. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. It reminded me of the scene in RoboCop with the big shootout at the cocaine factory. Yeah, you know? and Judge Dredd sees this and he's like, I can't have citizens uh, practicing. Uh, drugs for recreational use on their own time when they're not hurting anyone. I need to stop this. Well, no, I mean they're burning their fucking faces. Can I make the stuff. libertarian judge dread where he just lets all crimes go? <laughs> like you, citizen, uh, I believe that is your constitutional right, and I'm gonna let you go with a, with, with not even with the warning. Well, <laughs> they constantly keep bringing them in. They're like, dude, we gotta arrest someone. You're not a loose cannon enough. <laughs> You're not loose enough of a cannon. <laughs> Tony's always telling me I'm not that's, loose enough. I don't know. That's what I want. I want libertarian Judge Dredd. <laughs> yeah, it's funny, Tony. Yeah. I know. I know you hate libertarian. libertarians. So, Pokemon. Anyway. Oh. Uh, so go. the fight with Lex is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. He gets shot pretty bad. And I, this is the only time uh, in the movie they kind of reference that he's the Judge Dredd. Yeah. Oh, also Anderson killed that one girl. Because she, she, the girl didn't know she was a psychic. Yeah. And I like that. <laughs> uh, but he's like, Judge Dredd. The Judge Dredd. And like, I like how this is a small story mm -hmm. that it hints to so many other things in the comics. Yeah. yeah. But it's, without... It's done right. Yeah, it's not like... I mean, I like the Marvel, the Marvel movies. But that's what's so smart about this movie is it's effective, <laughs> closed circle filmmaking. Yeah. It's in one building, but we get enough of the outside world that's inside as well to say that it's a bigger universe. Yeah. yeah. Everything's shut down, but it's like... And, and whatever happens here doesn't really affect the whole plan. Exactly. It's like, just like yeah. oh, drugs are going to get into the city again. There's yeah. not a giant fucking purple space laser terraforming No, there's the nothing Earth. stupid like that. Yeah. Uh, that's why, like, the first one, they went too big with, like, the judges being all murdered mm -hmm. and stuff. Yeah. It was weird. I would love to see Judge Death show up. Like uh, That it, would yeah. be cool. I, that's where I, I kind of draw the line in the 2080. It's too much. Mm -hmm. No, it's awesome. So, uh, but there's other stories like yeah, 2000 yeah, it, AD. It, it, it's awesome, but but like, how are you going to do that in in this universe? Yeah, you no, can't. you couldn't. The same, they're the same way. There's scientists, but it's in the this same universe. thing. Dark, you know, the Batman Begins universe, the Dark Knight universe. You couldn't do Clayface. You couldn't do Mister. Well, we don't Freeze. know that they can't do that. We haven't seen the rest of the world. We I know, haven't but seen I'm the just rest saying, of the mutants. It, if you saw that, it would be weird because there's like alligator head men and shit like. Well, that. you can also say the same thing about Iron Man. The first two Iron Man, it's like, oh, we're just dudes in you suits. And then Avengers, Iron Man's fighting a space track. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you are a Judge Dredd apologist. Yes, I love Judge Death because it's it's a universe where they realize that only living organisms create create a crime. Yeah. So they became zombies and just punished the living. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. And then he like 
uh, there's an experiment that brings yeah. him to Earth, and I love that he has a pterodactyl instead mm -hmm. of an eagle, yep. and he, he possesses Anderson at he one does, point. Yeah, we were talking about and that. And there's also that famous panel, like, stare into the fist of Dre. <laughs> oh, it's a Brian Bolin, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's all. You can't look at that and say no, it's no. not awesome. It's awesome. It just doesn't work as this kind of movie. <laughs> that panel and one of my other favorite comic book panels of all time, it's not from this, but it's another indie comic, no. is Leave Me Alone Lady, I'm Drinking with Skeletons. <laughs> Is, uh, is Hellboy yelling at a lady because yeah. he's, he's drinking booze with skeletons? Ugh. I want to get that tattooed on my body somewhere. <laughs> I like the weight thing. Where he's yeah. like, wait, wait. And he's like, oh, you're telling me to wait. Oh, what a, what a jerk well, you are. You, he, I can't believe you're such a loser. And then it's just so the girl shoots him through I, wait, the hold, wall. Yeah, I was going to say, you got to preface that. You yeah. get to say things. Don't yeah. Me. Judge Dredd is hiding. I mentioned he got shot. No, yeah, but you didn't say how it was. Okay. Judge Dredd <laughs> is hiding behind a concrete pillar. He fucking shoots through it with high X. The hole is massive, and it goes through Judge Dredd. So Judge Dredd is injured. He's laying on the floor, and he goes to finish him off as he's like, the Judge Dredd, you know. Mm. Other cops probably hate this fucking dude. Yeah. He's like a Nicholas Angel well, in it, Hot it, Fuzz. Oh, yeah, because yeah. he's too good. It's because he's like, you know, what is it, like, like so lawful. It's mm -hmm. like, you know, and all these guys are dirty cops. Yeah. So it's like, you, and then this guy's fucking voice, he's just like, you know, in his face, he's like, you make it hard for us judges. I'm an American. This is like, you're scene, not American. This is the scene where both of their American accents slip a lot more. <laughs> it's like... Uh, yeah, because uh, he's from New Zealand? Yeah, uh, uh, he's Carl, Carl Urban is Carl, New Zealand. Yeah. The other guy is South Africa. he's in Lord of the Rings. Yeah. But it's like, uh, it's like Heather Graham doing a British accent in From Hell. Oh, yeah. And it's just like, oh, it's like somebody doing a bad like school play of... I Mary saw that Poppins. in theaters when so I was not I. old yeah. enough to. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, Dredd's like, wait. And the guy's like, the Judge Dredd telling me to wait. The last thing you're going to say. Oh, yeah. Judge Dredd gets on the other side of a gun. <laughs> you're Stallone you now. What wait. do you do? You're doing Stallone. That's what he looks like. He's like, yeah. his face is like. How much better would it have been if it was Stallone? Be good. How cool would that have been? <laughs> or who's the old judge in the first one? Max, Max Lucido, he's but, dead now. I know, but who plays that judge? Well, what's the judge's character? Judge. Get Stallone to be that judge. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so... Judge Wapner. Well, well, <laughs> Judge well, Judy. Well, that would be like Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, that would be oh, awesome. Oh, if Judge Judy no, was in... <laughs> all the daytime judges in this movie. I oh, like Judge Joe Judge Brown. Judge Joe Brown, Judge Judy. The People's Court. Yeah. <laughs> Can we get them? Are they doing anything? Can we get them all? <laughs> well, now, well, now Jerry Springer's a judge, too. Oh, Judge Jerry, that's right. He was uh, the mayor of Cincinnati, wasn't he? He was. Yeah. yeah. Well, after he got kicked out for. I saw Ringmaster. No, was it called Ringmaster? Ringmaster, yeah. I saw that in the theater. <laughs> so then he was, uh, yeah, so he's like, and then he, the judge, flappy mouth, uh, Lex gets mm -hmm. shot. Yeah. And he goes, wait for her to shoot you. Yeah. <laughs> I also him. love that, like, they don't shy away from too much. Like, he gets shot, his face just blows Explodes, up. And yeah. it's just like, oh, there's his face And the blowing field up. dressing he has to do on himself. It's all, really... like, jelly. It's gross. And he puts that thing in and it seals itself. It's like the laces in Back to the Future 2. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but now Anderson looks ready. He goes, are you ready? And she, he's like, you look ready. Ready? Yeah. You look ready. Um, yeah, uh, they... They get uh, Hux, mm -hmm. do Doom and all Gleason. Don't worry, he makes it out of the movie alive. Uh, they feel bad for him because they're like, well, she he she wants, does. Yeah, yeah, she does, and she's like, this is the only good I can do. Is yeah. he's been a he's been a victim the entire time. But, but I love when he's like, uh, you're gonna lose your uh, assessment. She's like, I already lost it when my gun was taken away, yeah. so I already failed. But I'm still technically a judge yeah. well, until it's over. He, he didn't kind of Judge Dredd didn't really bring that up. She kind of just assumed the fact. Yeah. yeah. And she's like, well, I already lost my gun, so what's the matter? Blah blah blah, and mm -hmm. you know. That boy just like shoot me. <laughs> but when 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 he uh, when uh, she scans his mind, she gets the code yes. to Mama's door because that's mm -hmm. the only way to get the Mama. She's behind ten inches of steel. Yeah. yeah. And then speaking of ripoffs, no one. I'm the only one who remembers this movie. Does anyone remember what planet are you from? Like I Gary that Shandling, movie, yeah. Ben Kingsley, John Goodman. No. Was that the one where his penis hums? And, yes. he, and the girl goes, it must be because he doesn't know the words. Yes. I remember that. <laughs> yeah. Because they, they were alien. They were, it was an alien planet of just men. They had mm -hmm. to like figure out how to date women. But uh, at the very end, Ben Kingsley, he's like going to kill uh, Gary Shandling with his phaser gun. And John Goodman pulls a gun on him. And a spoiler for What Planet Are You From? A movie I think flopped horribly. <laughs> uh, but it's very good. He pulls a gun on him. He's like, oh, you fool. Your primitive weapon can't kill me. I can instantly heal. And as he's talking, John Goodman just shoots, shoots him and yeah. he dies. <laughs> and he's like, oh, he thought that was bullshit. <laughs> this ending reminds me of that where she's like, 
hey, I have this hooked up to all the C4. If you kill me, the whole thing will blow up. Yeah, it's right, the spawn she, thing. Yeah, yeah. The, 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 the heat death, 16, yeah. The death's hand, you the, kill me, then everything. The dead man, dead, man dead man switch, yeah. Dead man's uh, trigger. It's but, a dead man's party. Yes, uh, but I love how she's like trying to be like real intimidating and whatnot, and Tread <laughs> basically is all like, he just call it, he just shoots her and then he's like it probably won't blow up if I throw you far enough down. <laughs> he just yeah. takes a, yeah. I love that he just takes he's a like, risk. You think it will transmit through 200 levels of concrete? Yeah. yeah. But I love that like cuz that is how he is conditioned mm -hmm. and trained like he's like no, I got to serve justice even at the even at my own expense. Yep. And I will ex I will risk hundreds of thousands to of people get my man. to make sure you serve the crime. But then he hits her with some slow-mo. Yeah, which I think might be a little excessively mean for him, but it, it's cool. Yeah, I'll give it, it looks that. cool. But yeah, it knocks her out the window, and I love it's all like peaceful, and he just doesn't care. Like, this is a big moment where she's about to die. He just see? turns around. Yeah. yeah, she's like running through all these emotions. She's like scared, but then she's kind of happy because her life kind of sucks. It looks and... all ethereal. Well, it's beautiful. Yeah. She's also going back through all the video game levels where you see the phosphorus level yeah. and the guy burning, and you see the, the, the mini uh, shootout. Yeah, and, all that. and you see... She kind of like accepts it at the end, mm -hmm. and then she splatters everywhere. <laughs> but I mean, just the falling is so great because it cuts between the, all the fire and the smoke looks like this beautiful kind of sparkly yeah. smoke, yeah. and the glass is falling with her, and everything is that brightness that's in the movie again. Yeah. That 3D thing they did where everything is overexposed and it's really which was smart because very what we said about 3D, and then it cuts to what it actually looks like as she's falling, <laughs> and then back to it. But then it's the camera's looking up as her face hits the thing and, it just, and just fucking opens up like a melon. Yeah. <laughs> and I just love it. It just cuts back to Dread. He's like, yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What goes, I thought would happen. Yeah, the bomb doesn't go off. <laughs> and I love the ending. So like at the end, everything opens up. Mm -hmm. uh, music swelling. The chief justice shows up and she's like, cause she's like, oh man, my, my valuable weapon. I mean, valuable yeah. person. Uh, she's basically, how did she do? Pass or fail? Mm -hmm. And uh, he passes her. Well, he thinks she thinks she failed. Yes. She took her badge off and gave it to him. And this is the opposite of Mummy Cop season two because mm -hmm. we had a very similar plot line. Oh, have we talked about Mummy Cop? We haven't episode? talked about Mummy Cop. Uh, yeah, Mummy Cop was saddled with a uh, partner in season two, but she was like the worst. They, they promoted her to stop a lawsuit from happening, but she was like the worst partner ever. And we did like the very ending where the chief of police is like, so... Is she good or bad? And Mummy Cop's like, no, she's terrible. We got to fire her. <laughs> I, I stole it from this movie. So much stealing going on today. Yeah, he stole fucking... You, fucking, you, you talk about stolen, your stupid... stole an hour of my you time. You guys talk about your <laughs> underbelly show that doesn't even exist anymore all the time. You that talk about was... Swamp Zombies too. You talk about fucking Pokemon. Did I mention Swamp Zombies? Pokemon too? still exists. Yeah. And I, I can't talk about my wonderful accomplishment. The day that we're filming this three years ago was the day that Swamp Zombies 2 had its first theatrical <laughs> premiere. Which again, I still haven't seen because yeah. how can you top the first Sold one? Sold out theater. Yeah. yeah. Right. It's real stupid to think you could outdo the first one. I'm just saying. The, your sheer fucking hubris. <laughs> I was there for that. Uh, you were. And the director wouldn't go on stage. No, he wouldn't. And then he didn't credit Kieran either. <laughs> so buy a copy of the movie. Swamp Zombies 2. <laughs> uh, Interesting. Yeah. yeah, so I, I really love the ending here afterwards. Cause it's like, wow, that was a rough day. You really been through it. And he's like, yeah, Back drug bust. I love he's like, drug bust went bad. Yeah. And then he just gets out his bike to serve more justice. Like, dude, take a break. The perps were uncooperative. <laughs> he perps. says, yeah. And then he just it just repeats the opening. And again. it's funny because if you like, you read Judge Dread comics, it's like, yeah, this yeah. is like a normal yeah. day yeah, for exactly. him. Yeah, exactly. It's like a monster of the week mm -hmm. day in the life. Yeah. Kind of a thing. Which Unless was a when really they actually fight the alien and the predator, which I, it would be a real monster of the week. Yes, that, that's a know? good comic. Um, yeah, and it's a really, really great movie. Yeah. Uh, Peter Travers did a really good job directing sure it, allegedly. Did. Well, not allegedly, he is credited. Well, Alex like, Garland did a good job, too, allegedly. Well, Tombstone was really directed by Kurt Russell, but they, they the guy who, uh, the Mandy director's dad was oh, that's right. the yeah, director. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, I think it's become a cult classic. Yeah. Uh, the Indian guy who produced it, Adi Shankar, he's famous for doing, uh, the Power Rangers, mm -hmm. uh, Ripa, uh, but they, what does he call it? The something universe. Oh, his fan film universe. He calls it something. Bootleg universe. Oh, okay. Yeah, he did the Power Slash Rangers. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he actually, because um, he did a whole video about why there won't be a sequel to this because it failed so horribly. Mm -hmm. 
uh, he actually did an, an animated series yes. for Judge and that for Judge Dredd, and that was awesome. Mm -hmm. Rico's in it, Judge Death is in it. That one's really really cool. What right. if Judge Reinhold was in it? If Judge Reinhold should be in it, <laughs> and Let's he produces uh, the Castlevania cartoon, right? Mm -hmm. For Netflix. Yes. Which do you like that or not like that? I wasn't big on the style. I only watched the first season. I only watched first season too, and I was like, I don't know shit about Castlevania. Why am I watching? Why this? does the one character in this movie have an obvious Halloween wig on? Yeah, there's oh. there's a couple obvious wigs in this. Oh, the, dude who, the dude who looks like Buff Benicio del Toro, who's <laughs> always behind them. I was taken out of it by that. Yeah, but something about this, like everyone was clamoring for a sequel for the mm -hmm. longest time. Yeah, and now that it's been literally ten years later. Yeah, about almost. Yeah. Almost, yeah. Um, you know, people are talking. Oh, it's going to be a mini series, and 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 yeah, they wanted to do a Mega City One yeah. show, and like Judge Dredd wouldn't be the star, but he would show up. And Carl Urban's like, I am a hundred percent down. And Carl Urban's at like the the height of his game right now. Like after the boys, like yeah. But I love that it's something he wants to do. Mm -hmm. He's like, no, I will do this. Bring well, this me was back. his first time to be, and even though his face wasn't shown, he was. This was the first time he was carrying a project. Yeah, you know, yeah. he's bones in the Star Trek reboot. He's and all great. That. Yeah. yeah, I love Carl Urban. Mm -hmm. He was great in Ghost Ship. Check out our ghost ship episode <laughs> um but you know the one thing i thought is you know everyone said that this ripped off the raid and whatever nope i think a sequel should rip off the raid 2 yeah okay. a judge uh, a dread 2 rip off the raid 2 that's just an endless it's just an endless chase across the city yeah and you could even do it like there's a prison in the center of mega city one mm -hmm. that's surrounded by all the rail traffic mm -hmm. so if you try to escape you'll just hit by a train okay right? so you can do like this it's a it's like a like an two hour long train heist movie, escape movie, prison break movie, all in one. Yeah. Which Judge Red going from car to car, so it's almost like Snowpiercer meets this concept. Fury Road, yeah. almost. I think yeah. it'd be fun. Um, yeah. That's that, my idea. That sucks. I want to see Zombie Man with Pterodactyl. <laughs> that is what we want to see. Or Sex Crimes. <laughs> You would love a Judge Dredd SVU show. You would fucking love yeah. that. Put fucking iced tea in it. But iced tea? <laughs> Judge T? And, 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 and Judge T. And, and, and he, it's just a giant T. Or, or he could be the kangaroo man from uh, Tank Girl. There has First. to be a Tank Girl Judge Dredd crossover, right? Not an official one. I'm sure you can find some slash fiction of it somewhere. Or slash like, fiction? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I bet. Yeah. Anyway, that was us. No, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's what it's called. Yeah, and yeah. Is that not what it's called? We were talking about something else. Okay. We're adults, and we have private conversations that don't include you. <sighs> That's right. How was this, Rookie? Did yeah. you enjoy sitting through this? Yeah. Fire. Exactly. Well, Are you going to watch the movie now that we just told you the entire plot I'm of the don't turn off the camera. Oh, the ca oh, my God. <laughs> You're going toward the camera yet. We didn't sign off yet. You You're brought him the wrong soda. Wrong soda, the wrong dread. Well, is she a pass? Yeah, sure. Why not? She's the only intern we have. So. I mean, <laughs> I, think, I think we only have her till August. Oh, so okay. I really have any other options. At the yeah. <laughs> if you'd like to intern for Hack the Movies, <laughs> no. follow me oh, on God, Twitter. No. Fill, no. Out a, fill out a resume and throw it in a brick through the window. <laughs> Did you know what Hack the Movies was before you started working here? That's good. I don't, if someone comes here and they're like, I love hacked movies, I'm like, get out. I don't trust your taste. <laughs> but yes, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Check out our Patreon for that 3D segment, unless something went wrong with the camera. Uh, podcast. The podcast feed. Check out the podcast feed. Um, we should do a, if Judge Dredd 1 doesn't rank, we should mm. do a commentary track for that. Why don't we do an audio book of Star Trek The Next Generation? We're going to do an audio book of Star Trek The Next Generation meets <laughs> No, hold on. Is, 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 I Because I haven't read this. Q makes this happen, right? No. There, oh. there are things. This is a this is the sequel to a book that they expect you to have already read. And pretty much what happens is there's a planet that are, there's a planet that the Star Trek crew comes across where people are becoming mutants. Mm -hmm. And they have to get the X-Men to help out with it. But in this alternate timeline kind of thing, uh, Patrick Stewart look, you know, is both Professor characters. X, that's yeah, amazing. That's funny. So okay. Professor X, they look exactly the same. They said, oh, well, in that reality, you would be Professor X. And that's how they do it. And okay. there's a scene where War fights Wolverine. They, they, they spar. It's fun. Well, I'm glad you shoehorned a review drinks, for some stupid book. Yeah, one book. drinks like, Canadian beer and one drinks prune juice and everyone has a good time. Anyway, podcast. We should do that with Tony. <sighs> We, we have walk him into the store and we hit him with the pain sticks. I tried to end the show. <laughs> tried to end the show like three. Anything else you want to say? Nah. Uber. Uber. Okay. Uber. Bye.
Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our other videos and Patreon page.